Welcome back to Scudder Jeff Asks a Question. Today's question is, what is magnetic declination and what is Scouter Jeff doing with a beach ball? Very good questions today. The short of it is, magnetic declination is the difference between our two North Poles. You heard me right, we got two. The first North Pole is true north. It's up here. When you look at a globe, when you look at any map, all the meridian lines, like these right here, your orienteering lines, all point to true north. However, we've got a second North Pole. Because of the way that the planet creates a magnetic field, magnetic north is somewhere around here. Okay? So you've got a difference between where magnetic north and true north are. So, if you live on a line that basically follows the Mississippi River down, there's no difference between magnetic north and true north, okay? But, as you start to move out from that line, and you let's say you go through to Boston, or out to the Pacific Northwest, the variation can become significant. So I'm gonna to try to explain a couple different ways uh, to adjust for that on your map and your compass. So that's what declination looks like on a globe and really why there is a difference between true north and magnetic north. Now every map that you're going to look at, if it's a good map that is, is going to have that declination so you'll know how much you need to adjust your compass for. So for example, I've got a map of Philmont here. So this map of Philmont shows that uh, the declination for this map is 7.45 degrees east. Now that seems a little funny because Philmont is west of the Mississippi River where that uh, magnetic declination is zero. However, you've got to adjust back to the east in order for um, the map to line up with true north. So next I'm going to show you a couple different ways to adjust your compass. Alright, so there are a couple different ways you can adjust your compass to um, adjust for magnetic declination. So I'm gonna show you on, this is a, so I've got two different types of compasses here. I've got an adjustable compass and I've got a non-adjustable com compass. And I'll show you how to do both of those. So first on the non-adjustable compass, well, you know, I can't change any of the aspects of this rotating dial to adjust for declination. So uh, for Philmont, for example, it's 7.45 degrees. If I'm orienting my map north, that's 360 degrees. I just have to take off that 7.45 degrees and you would get 352 degrees and then I would orient my map to that 352 degrees um, in order to know which way is true north. The second kind of compass is an adjustable compass. And this compass, you can actually adjust the rotating dial uh, with a key that is on the rope and the key goes into a little almost like a little screw in the back and it twists the inside of the rotating dial so right now this compass shows zero declination uh, if I want to adjust to the east it says east declination there we're going to adjust for Philmont so I'm going to put this in the screw hole and I'm just going to turn it Seven degrees right there. And now, when you look at my dial, I can take it to the true north, or I can take my um, my bearing to north right there. Uh, but you'll see that the shed no longer points at the north on the rotating dial, right? So it's been adjusted for my magnetic declination. I can just line up, put uh, red in the shed, um, and you know, I'll be able to go straight north. So that is magnetic declination. Not an easy concept to get. Hope this video really helped explain what it is, how you can adjust for it, and if nothing else, just be the gateway and the entry into exploring how this works. This is magnetic declination, like it sounds like, is science. It's It, it, it takes the realm and the art of orienteering and adds just this different scientific sublayer that's kind of fun to explore and learn more about. I mean, magnetic declination changes over time just to confuse it a little bit more when the magnetic poles move. So 
you know, something to, to continue to learn more about and I really hope you enjoyed this video. This one's been a little bit more challenging to put together in a, in a way that makes sense and I hope that um, you learn more about magnetic declination, how to use these, these compasses with a map. Um, and remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, happy scouting.